Hey, what is up guys? Skullified here, and we are here with our first Marvel movie reaction here on the channel. We have already reacted to Falcon and Winter Soldier, Loki, and What If, so you guys are interested in that and haven't seen them already, go see my reactions. I think I thing is up there. Um, go click that, watch my reactions to all the Marvel stuff I've reacted to already. But we are here with our first movie reaction. We'll be doing the same thing for Eternals when that comes out on Disney+. Plus. And I'm still not sure yet about No Way Home. We did react to the Spider-Man trailer as well, so go check that out. Um, I'm not sure. Just because with all the hype around it, I feel like I'll get spoiled if I don't wait and see it. But maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to hold off. I'm not sure about that. But definitely Eternals will be out. But yeah, Shang-Chi. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect here. I did watch the trailer when it first came out. But I've gotten some mixed re reviews. I know a lot of people who have watched it like have said it's really good. Um, that's what I've heard the majority of, but my roommate, um, Nate, who I do the podcast with, said it wasn't really, like, anything too spectacular, it was just, like, an average Marvel movie, so I'm not really sure what to go off of, because normally me and him have similar opinions when it comes to shows like that, but who knows? Um, I know the Mandarin is a possibility, because I, I the thing that with Iron Man, I think he had ten rings or whatever, I think the Mandarin is someone involved, I'm not very informed in, on that department. And I believe at Abomination and Wong were in the trailer as well, fighting each other in some sort of fighting pits. But I don't know the character, the, the character. I don't know the name of the main character. Wait a minute. I don't really know anything that we haven't seen in the trailers. But I'm very excited because I hope this is like a pretty big act. Most Marvel movies are actiony, but I hope we get some action. I haven't gotten to see a Marvel movie since Black Widow, and Black Widow was okay, but it was nothing like super spectacular so i'm hoping this one definitely is a banger morally because i'm going to be sitting here for two hours with bright light on face and i hope i at least get some enjoyment out of it but yeah um if you guys are excited for my reaction to shang chi uh be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't if you're new to me and all my marvel stuff i'll be reacting to hawkeye next wednesday when that drops and book of boba i know it's a star wars thing but i'll be also be doing that when that takes over and yeah shang chi and the legend of ten rings Let's get into it. One man. Oh, there's the rings, right? Five on each arm? A crater or stolen from a tomb? So what, he win a lot of wars with the rings? I presume? The strength of a god. It, it, oh, okay. Oh, he can just make a force field with them. Okay. I mean, hey, at least he's not wasting his army for this. He doesn't need to. Oh, I like the aspect ratio, too. It's not quite widescreen, but it's not full screen either. Dude's literally soloing an army. Oh, here the army comes to help. He called his army the Ten Rings. Well, at least he... Of course he's safe. <laughs> well, that sucks. But is the tree moving on its? Why is it, Why are the trees moving? It's like someone controlling them, or is this like some sort of weird forest? Hmm. This has to be that. Martial arts style they're talking about, right? Goddamn airbender? Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. He's not having an easy time with this. <laughs> when this woman's stronger than an entire army that he already beat? Or are they just dancing? I'm super confused. 
Because like, I feel like he could have capitalized on that, but... The music's really nice. CGI's really good, too. Close. Oh, he can call them back? That's interesting. So the power is, can't necessarily just... Okay. Yeah, she seemed to have no problem just destroying him. But she saved him at the end. Oh, so... Huh. So this has to be Shang-Chi, right? So his dad was this dude? Oh. Oh, God. He's not going to lose it, right? You're on a bus in San Francisco. There's no way this guy's... Oh. Okay, so there's just a whole group of people. I hope he can. Oh. Can he? Oh, he can. Okay, so this is the scene from the trailer. So he's been hiding shit. Okay. Right? Oh my god, okay, he's insane. I thought we were gonna, like, he needed to get powers or something. But his powers just being a bat at us. Oh, he's the big boss. Oh god. He's missing an arm? Why is this like an actual group of people that just want a pendant? Oh. <laughs> okay. So he's doing more than just being able to beat a bunch of random stuff, thugs. Cut the break line. Oh, Jesus. If he's smart, he would just attack the passengers and wait for him to... That sucks. Hope you had that on one drive. Oh shit. So does he know why they're coming after him? Or are these just... It's like a searing hot blade. Oh, nice. <laughs> a valet driver. <laughs> that makes sense why she's a valet driver. Hmm. I'm just interested why they're after him so much. Okay, that was close to the nuggets. I wonder why they're after him. Oh, God. Oh, and the bus is going to split in half, huh? Ooh. I can't tell if he has more than just natural powers here. Like, I can't tell if this is he's doing some supernatural type, like, superpower stuff. Or if this is all stuff they're just trying to say is possible for him to be doing. Because, like, I doubt any normal human even in this universe could do that. Like, I don't even think Black Widow has this type of shit in her. Oh, there's more bad guys now? Or did they all just wake back up from him beating him up? This is a really good fight scene, though. Where's the signal? God damn. Oh, okay. He's going to wait for everyone. Got it. I'm surprised there's that many people who are actually, like, willing to listen in this situation. I feel like a lot of people would 
be so non-attentive to someone trying to direct them while this is going on. Oh, you and your sister? Oh, shit. Hopefully no one was in those cars. So he has to know who they are then, right? Oh, and he's just chilling? Oh no, he got it! Shit. The mom died. Oh, okay. So the mom probably died because of his dad then, huh? Because there'd be no reason for him to start training otherwise. Ow. Bruh. From sun up to sun down, I was taught every possible way to kill a man. Good God. <laughs> oh, okay, so the daughter is training by herself. Cool. At least she's getting some form of training. Who do you hire for this job? Just like a bunch of local... The local bad guys in town? <laughs> Hey, I need my son to test how strong he is. You guys want to get your asses beat? <sighs> so why did he go to San Francisco? Oh, jeez. Can, can this video blow up like that, please? Oh. I speak ABC. <laughs> I need to use that at some point. Oh, is this where we get introduced to Wong in Abomination? In the big cage? Oh, Abomination? Is this Wong? Yeah, it is, right? Come on, Wong. A meal? I, I never watched The Incredible Hulk, so I don't know if that's who Abomination, like, actually is. He's made him punch himself! Is he gonna be, like, a character we know? Could it be Hulk? Is Hulk back in the fighting pits? Oh my god, they can't. <laughs> They're struggling to drag him out. So Abomination is like... Oh, Abomination is just in the wa open? Oh, Gonna be someone we don't know then. Oh, his sister. Okay. So dude lied. Dude knew who... Oh, and she's gonna fight him. Oh god, okay. Does she not... Re Does she not realize it's her brother? Oh, did he leave his sister? Maybe? He's gotta be stronger, right? Cause she just trained by herself, whereas he was like forcibly trained. Oh, she's gonna punch it. She's gonna kick him in the balls. You sent him the address, didn't you? Oh, damn, he left her there? Oh, no. Oh, that's sucky. That's really sucky. Yep. I was waiting for it. Not gonna lie, that's hella shitty on Shang-Chi's part. And then he never came back, right? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They wanted them both here in the same place. Fuck. Come on, 
God damn it. I guess he kind of deserves this, but that just means she's being as bad as he was to her. Oh, this dude's back. What's this guy's name? Come on, balance is the key. That, that seems easy enough. Come on now. Y'all got this. Don't worry about the people coming after you. Katie's struggling to walk on this. Meanwhile, he's just going ham. Oh god, those boards aren't strong. Oh. Bruh. I already really like the fighting of this movie. The parkour stuff. It's really fun. Oh. If he could do that, why didn't he just use this to get down and just parkour himself down? Oh. She's doing the same singing thing. Alright, if you have any superpowers, now, now would be the time to use them. Holy shit. Okay. That bamboo. Okay. Whew. Oh no. Doesn't got gotcha. you. There's no way, right? Okay, cool. That's a sister, right? Yep. <sighs> okay, thank god the sister wasn't terrible. Oh, she's coming to help him too? Wow. Oh, that sucks. But those guys are just... Those guys don't have anyone to catch them. Oh. Oh, this is the guy that he trained with all that time. Oh no. He got it. Yikes. I'm not sure if we'll win this fight though. Come on. Oh, last time he was able to cut him on the cheek with that. Oh. Oh, he's being soft. God damn it. Oh, his dad showed up? Oh, God. So his mom must have put something. They must have put something in those pendants, huh? Or that his mom did. This is Iron Man. This is Iron Man, right? The Mandarin. Yup. I'm glad that they actually connected those things. Cause wasn't isn't this Master Khan? Oh, he stopped wearing the ten rings. Oh wow. So after okay, maybe he didn't kill her. Maybe just after she died, he started going on the ten rings thing again. Hmm. Okay, maybe I was wrong. What did it just stop like that in real time? That's trippy. The passage to Tarpoi started by a moving rail. But there's a direct path to the ball. And that's the key.
And that's what that is. But I feel like the dad's just going to be evil as soon as he gets there. He's just going to go there and kill everyone. You know, they're probably decent people. That's not evil at all. I'm surprised he revealed that. Ooh. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Those are interesting weapons, though. Just electric canes. Oh, God. Is that the man from Iron Man? Or am I just being dumb? Should I know who this is? Who the fuck? It actually is. It is Trevor! Oh my god, this is the guy who was pretending to be the Mandarin! An Iron Man! I have a bad feeling though that this is set up by his dad. Because, like, why would the rooms just connect to Trevor without that being on purpose? Y'all, your two's fingerprints are probably still in it somehow. And if not, there's a bunch of bad guys right here. This movie does have a lot of fighting, which I do enjoy. I thought he was going to hit the other guy with it. Yeah. He needs this dude's hands. Okay. Oof. Thank God that gate closes and opens quick. Maybe this isn't... I feel like... I still feel like this is planned. Got to it. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay, I figured he was good. This was like for some reason planned as like a backup. I don't know. Just I feel like it's weird that just Trevor was just connected to them. I. Yeah. You die. Yeah. Go left. <laughs> how, how are you able to tell that? <laughs> what is that in feet? <laughs> oh, God. That's a great... Us Americans are pretty dumb. Oh, it's getting tight. I'll say that. Don't tell me the odds. <laughs> oh, they just got there. Oh, they're just gonna go through it in the car? Thought they would get out. Guess you don't wanna get your shoes wet, huh? Okay. Oh, it's doing what it did in the waterfall. Or not the waterfall, the dragon waterfall type thing that his dad made happen with the necklaces. Oh, and you're just going through a portal, apparently. What in the Doctor Strange is happening? They did say it's like a different world or whatever, right? But, like... Sure. I wonder how they feel about a car just coming in. Ooh! A nine-tailed fox? Kurma? Oh my god, that's literally a nine-tailed fox, right? Oh, there's his... Aww. 
He's gonna go out the window? Nope. Oh. <laughs> this is like a dragon. Because you're not, you're the one person that doesn't fit in this situation. Okay, they're just they're just pulling up to the village. I'm assuming they'll be accepting because they're the kids and they won't take it out on them. But hey, guys, how, how you doing? They're gonna have to tell them to get ready for the people who are gonna be coming to fight them, right? Oh God! Why do why do the good guys never know, never listen to what's going on? Who's this? It's one of those mom, right? Oh, your auntie, not. So they get, I mean, everyone here seem if they all know the like magic stuff, the, uh, what, oh God, I've learned so much. The Talo magic. Oh, okay. Keepers of the dark gate. I'll stop talking. Let her shoot. Oh God. Can she understand what she's saying? I would assume so because her parents seem to like be cultured but she well, I don't think we've seen her speak it yet and actually I think she said she can't speak it well is that trying to do his mom so they knew her mom his mom died? how did his mom die hmm I'm gonna challenge the aunt to a duel let's go Offside. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, NFL refs do suck, so. Open hands. Ah. That's probably part of it, right? Because you're not, you're not striking to, like, yeah, this is probably more of, like, you're not striking to kill, you're striking to, like, defend and stuff. I, I do really love how it's almost like a dance sort of fight. Like, that's how fighting norm- their fighting style is. Ooh. He's unlocking some of that magic stuff. Oh, okay, but she's gonna be like, uh, now I'm the airbender. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, the only problem is, I wonder if the mother would have taught the dad some of this stuff. I wonder why she lost her powers. Just because she, like, do the powers only work, like, in that one zone or place they're in? Oh. Okay, that's... There was a shot when there was, like, only five of them, but... Good God. She's not wavering, though. Oh, she knows she's dying. Oh, does he watch it happen? To be fair, though, they didn't 100% show it happen. Oh, never mind. I was just gonna say they didn't show it, so maybe it didn't happen, but... Nope, she's very bloody. Why couldn't the father... What? Where was he? What was he getting? That he... God damn it. He should have put like five rings on his the wife and then five on himself. So the way they always had like either some sort of power or bond or something. Uh... 
Oh. Okay. So, but just after he killed him? I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I was going to say, I don't think he'd be able to not kill that person. Oh, everyone's getting in battle gear. Ooh. Even, even the animals get it. All right. Oh shit, okay, already? I figured they would have been more prepared by the time he was getting here. I thought they were getting prepared for him to get here. Nah, she's at some point she's gonna... A big part of this is gonna be her playing a role with the bow. She's gonna either pick up someone's bow or something and save someone. Oh, we're getting down to the probably like last 30 minutes of the movie. Damn, you're not even gonna fight. Damn, you're not even gonna be on the front lines. What a little bitch. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Alright, Sister and Shang-Chi obviously going to be the MVP of the main team. Okay, animals are pretty good too. Actually, you know what? It's probably... Oh, uh... Oh, jeez. He's really not even fighting? He's going to gotta, he gotta go stop it. Bro, this dragon scale shit is pretty strong. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, bud. What did you do? Mr. Grown-Up at the time. Mr. Lived for hundreds of centuries. What did you do? He, he's got to use his mom's, like, or the, that style of fighting, right? Oh, he actually got a hit. Oh, God. Oh, he's actually hitting him a solid few times. I thought he wasn't going to be able to do much without going into his mom's form. Bro, just finish him while you're at, while you have him. She'd be disappointed. Yeah. Damn. Oh, fuck. Damn, couldn't handle the truth now, could you? Good you, big man. The heart of our dragon. Is there just gonna be like a water dragon that just comes out of nowhere? Because they've been mentioning dragons a lot. There was a dragon statue that's where the pendants were from. There's totally gonna be a dragon right now, huh? Just underwater. Oh my god, there's actually just a dragon. Bruh. That dragon's just gonna pop out of the water and eat all of those things. Yup. Oh, is that the Great Protector? Is the Great Protector the dragon? That would kind of make sense. Oh my god, it can fly. It actually just flies. Because that would make sense why it was able to give them dragon scales if it's a dragon and can just give it its own scales. Okay. Yeah, because if they touch it, it dies. Or they die whenever they've been touching it. Ooh. Mm-mm. Taking the stance, let's go.
I thought he was gonna realize it's his wife's stance. Oh, I think he is realizing. Just a little bit, but it's just gonna frustrate him more, probably. Remember, that dragon thing looks super cool. Oh, I hope it doesn't die. Oh, fuck. Freaking Trevor. Oh, Trevor's not dead, right? He's acting. Of course, of course, of course. So does their culture have to do with the rings? Oh. Because, like, why was he able to steal them when he's never had, like, it doesn't seem like he's ever had a problem using them before. And now they're all of a sudden we're just working with Shang-Chi. Oh, no. Block it. Did you block it? Oh, did he just get all ten? He just steal the other five? Yup. Oh. I wonder why there were... Like... Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be pretty useless without these rings, buddy. Hame, Hame, Hame. Holy, what in the Rasengan? It literally an orange Rasengan. Oh. Huh, and they're blue when no one's using them. Purple when his father uses them, and orange when he uses them. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Father's gonna get eaten. Give Shang-Chi the rings, please. Give Shang-Chi the rings, please. Give Shang-Chi the rings. You know what? You're a shitty father. I'm not going to feel bad that you're dying right now. Just please give Shang-Chi the rings. Beat this goddamn dweller in the darkness. Ooh! Dragon's helping. I don't think the dragon will just be able to do it by himself, though. Closing it up. Those things probably feel pretty nice. Although I don't know if it'll use them because of the whole eternity thing. And I feel like that's not a very good guy thing to do. But who knows. Maybe because they're orange and they're different for him. And he is more good at will that hard it won't give him eternity. I'm not sure how that works. Ooh. Oh no. If it kills the great dragon or the great protector, that's probably bad, right? That's probably that's probably like a big soul. Oh shit. Oh. Well, you need to aim for the throat. You need to aim for the throat. Come on. You got your last order from him. It's taking a minute to get that soul. She's gonna let go, right? She'll be fine. She's good on her own. Or give her five of the rings. Team up and use the rings. I guess that makes sense too. Oh no. There's the arrow. Ooh! She did it. Okay. Okay. Sure. These rings are pretty powerful. And he now has the ability of flight.
Well, I guess they don't have to worry about sealing it away anymore because it's just dead. That's good. I wonder if all the minions die too afterwards because of like the main body host thing died. That was such a good dragon. Who's a good little dragon? He needs a head scratch or something. And that is a shit ton of people dead. What's Wong want? <laughs> My name is Wong. <laughs> I love Wong. Yeah, I know, so how do you keep doing that? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, the rings made it. You too. <laughs> Still has the rings. Of course you too, you shot the arrow. <laughs> Believe them now, assholes. <laughs> imagine being stood up, not stood up, but like imagine getting proved wrong like that. I will check for an end credit just because. Okay, there is one. Of course. Alright, the ten rings are fine. Interesting. What does Wong want with them? Bruce. Oh, Hulk. Hey, Chitauri. Oh, Captain Marvel. Okay. Is it being powered by? What's it being powered by? Huh? <laughs> That's probably good. She's probably going off for her movie, right? Oh, and Bruce is going off for. His show or movie with that whatever She Hulk or whatever is coming up, Planet Hulk, those things. <laughs> Y'all are joining the team. So what movie are they going to show up in? Is there going to be like a Shang-Chi 2? Or is he going to pop up in like Doctor Strange? Or something. Party. Wong's doing it too! <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, is she taking over? Or is she becoming a bad guy? Please don't be becoming a bad be becoming a bad guy. Come on, turn the ten rings into an organization for good. Hmm. Okay, women are fighting now. So Okay. Well, it's already more diverse than her father's version. Um, what are we panning out to? Just to show it. So, I mean, as long as she doesn't become a bad guy and she's just like making the Ten Rings a quote unquote good, the Ten Rings will return. Oh boy. Okay, so we're getting a Ten Rings 2 or Shang-Chi 2 or something, or it'll just be in another movie. 
Um, Ten Rings will return. Will return. I was writing this down in my handy dandy Marvel notebook that I have everything we've watched in so far. I've got that Marvel. I wrote like five pages on this movie. Um, okay. Well, not gonna lie. It was a very, definitely a very good movie, but sitting here for two hours was a, not rough, but like, I'm not, I, I'm not good at standing still, um, or sitting still, I guess, but whew, I don't know what I'm going to edit, or how I'm going to edit this down, because there's a lot in the movie, obviously, this is the longest reaction I've done on the channel, because the, I've only reacted to two movies so far, um, one being the Demon Slayer movie, and one being a My Hero Academia movie, both of which were under like an hour 45, and this was like 210 or at least two, I think. Um, so definitely the longest thing I've reacted to. But it was a very good movie. The movie definitely kept me interested. It wasn't like long sitting here because it was a bad movie. It was just long because it was two hours. Not anything against the movie because I'm used to... Obviously, I've in the past when I've watched movies that long. But I, like I've been used to watching shows and stuff. But overall, no. I definitely think it's a good movie. I don't really know what my friend was saying by saying it wasn't, like, a great movie. It, I mean, it wasn't, like, the best mo Marvel movie ever. But it, I definitely, like, have it above quite a few movies, at least. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like I enjoyed this a lot more than some other Marvel movies. Um, I know this is a hot take, but I feel like this was a better movie than Black Panther. I don't, I, know, I know a lot of people like Black Panther. I didn't really... I mean, Black Panther was fine. I, I don't really hate any Marvel movies. There's no Marvel movies that I think are bad. But, like, I definitely enjoyed this more than, like, Black Panther, or Guardians of the Galaxy 2, or <laughs> Dark World, Thor, or even Thor 1. Um, and some of the Iron Mans. I did, I'm not a big fan of the Iron Man trilogy. I like Iron Man the character, but I'm not big... I think after Iron Man 1, I, did, I think Iron Man 1's really, like, the only movie of his I enjoyed. Although that could be just because I haven't watched them in a while. I um, mean, those were the ones I watched when I was younger, and obviously some of the newer movies I'm going to have more of a bias to. But no, I definitely enjoyed this movie. This movie definitely is going to have a big implication. I'm assuming with those rings, at least the after credit made it seem like there's something going on. I'm not sure if they're related to the multiverse, because I'm not sure if this takes place after Loki. I know it obviously takes place after Endgame, because they mentioned like something about this is a world where half of people can just disappear. And obviously Wong's there. So, actually, this might be after Infinity War. It's at least after one of the last two Avengers. I'm not sure how this is chronological. If it is after Endgame and people are appeared. Because, like, there's no news. They didn't mention or tie anything. Tie in anything with, like, Loki or Falcon or WandaVision. Like, there was no, like, little, ooh, like, flashing bits on the news. Like, that said that. At least that I caught. Maybe there was. But I did like that they brought back the dude from Iron Man 2 or 3. It was one of them. The, uh fake fake mandarin what's his name i heard it's sean right now what the fuck what was his name trevor um because he was re he was a really he was a good comedy relief type thing in this sh um movie so so was katie but he definitely has a like little oh it was nice that they thought brought him back because to that iron man 3 was like early 2010s right so it's been a quite a few years i'm glad they brought him back for it um, I'm glad they finally tied that in and like confirmed that that they were talking about the Mandarin because I know he was like a comic character or whatever. Ob well, obviously everyone's a comic character, but that a lot of people were like throwing like, oh, this could have been him, or they were talking about a character from the comics. So I'm glad I'm glad they actually brought that full circle, ten or so years later. But oh, definitely a good movie. I'm gonna edit this and go take a nap and try and get this up today. Um, Honestly, might put it up tomorrow. I am not sure. I'm going to try. I don't know. Obviously, it's already up if you guys are watching it, but my brain is absolutely fried. Again, I wrote down like four or five pages of this. Blade Arm was pretty cool. I like how they all ended up working together at the end. Um, and yeah, I, it, let me know also if you guys are watching this far in. Uh, more about Abomination, because I never watched the Incredible Hulk movie, and if I did, it was like when I was like first came out, so I would have been like eight around then um let me know what's going on with abomination because they said his name's amil but he just kind of left with wong after so is like abomination free like is was he set free or is he just wandering around somewhere like what what's the deal with him i figured he was in prison or something but 
<sighs> anything else I want to talk about? Um, Keepers of the Dark Gate. I'm not sure if there's more to do with that or if we're all set because the Dweller in Darkness dragon thing died and that's the end of that. But I feel like the Ten Rings have some more implication, obviously, because they're older than a thousand years, much older, according to Bruce. Which was cool seeing those guys in the end credit, too. I know a lot of people don't like Captain Marvel, but I didn't think her movie was that bad. But, yeah. Um, hope you guys did enjoy my reaction to Shang-Chi. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe as well, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.